So I've had a couple issues on Vincent's that have the symptom of it being able to run well in one direction and not run at all in the other direction. Sometimes it'll run a little bit in one direction then stop. On this one I see I have a problem with the pin, the crank pin. Right here is threaded on this side. It begins to back out looks like in forward and starts to rubbing against this stay right here. So hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate here in the next few minutes on what the fix is to keep your Vincent running well in both directions. So the tools that we need to take care of this little issue is three millimeter socket wrench, two Allens. This one is probably about a one but actually measures out to 0.9 this measures out to 1.45 so I imagine they call it a one and a half uh, what you have to do is get to this crank what we have to do is on the inside here is tighten this up and put a drop of Loctite on it so you get to it the best way you can what I'll do is remove the flywheel Easier said than done since the engine's still hot. Get some slack in the chain. Remove the chain. Flywheel doesn't want to come off. Let's pull it out this way. And then gain access to this piece right here. what happens is this becomes loose and it starts to bind the whole system so what we need to do is clean this up real good apply a drop of like Loctite and reassemble everything everything acetone works pretty good um, we need to make sure you get all the oil off of the parts so you can see the difference between the two pieces of the crank cheeks one has a threaded insert the other one just has a loose fitting so that it's driven by the other half of the crank. So now what we got to do is get a little Loctite on there. Loctite has changed over the few years. Seems to be only a few types left. I'm using some pretty high strength, high temperature sleeve retainer. I'm sure others out there think, oh, you shouldn't be using that. But anyhow, it works uh, fairly well. You need to make sure you're getting the parts correctly together. This piece here, it sort of like has a bushing built into the cheek, goes to the outside. And it's actually sort of like a thrust bearing surface. So you want to make sure that it goes in this way. Okay, there was another tool that we needed, I forgot, and I needed to prep some type of plier, some way to grab the pin but you want to make sure that you do damage the surface because this is a bearing surface so you can either coat your pliers with some tape or you can use a piece of shirt board if you really want to be careful use both real well okay good and also clean off any residual Loctite that might be around the end of that joint. Nice and tight. So now we're start ready, we're ready to start our reassembly. It's a little bit more tricky. You got to get everything all kind of lined up.
Now while you're reassembling, you need to make sure that none of your shaft is sticking out here. That could be very bad before you begin to tighten. And you want very little play, almost no play, no side play. Tighten up the driving side first. Make sure everything spins around. Give the driven side just a little tight tightening so it stays in place while you give it a shot and everything looks good. Tighten it down. So right now we have no end play or just a, you know, maybe a thousandth of an inch end play on the driving side. And the driven side, the play will be handled by the placement of the sprocket. Careful of the little bushing washer. We're almost ready. The position of this as far as where it is on the clock, the position of the shaft is not quite as important. It's not important as all, but the most important position is the end play. What I mean by end play is where the slop is. You probably only want about enough for uh, about a piece of paper thickness. I'm checking it right now and it looks pretty good with the exception of I got the chain on the wrong side there so don't have enough play to pull it off so you can either redo this one or open that and put that on the inside so I'm I'm choosing to move this Pull off the set screw, don't lose it. Pull off the pivot screw. Place it back on the inside and reassemble. The pivot has a shoulder bolt to where it stops. You don't have to worry about setting the play or anything on the bolt, shoulder bolt. You don't want to get the two chain too tight. You want a little bit of play in there, otherwise it'll help stretch the chain. Looking pretty good. I think it's time for a test run, but I'm fairly confident this thing is going to run well in both directions now.